as you train your children up for the ballot box, as I've been doing recently, uh, you have some difficult conversations. Now, I, I, sat, um, I sat my son down recently, he's uh, ten years old, I sat him down with a copy of Maisie Votes in a General Election. <laughs> and um, he, he came back, did some background reading, and he came back with some questions about the electoral system. He came up to me and said, Dad, how come in 1983 Labour got 9% more votes than the SDP Liberal Alliance, 8.4 million to 7.7 million, but they got nine times as many seats, 209 to 23? And I said, a good question, son. Uh, well, that's how we prevent corruption in this country. <laughs> uh, I'll fill in my working on this. Why m waste millions of pounds crookedly buying an election when you can just sit back and let first past the post reward you with an almost Mugabe level of electoral fraud? <laughs> OK, Dad, well, can you tell me then how in 2005 Tony Blair scooped up a tidy little majority on 22% of the available vote? Of course I can explain that, son, I said. That's because of our heroically low turnout. We fought wars for our freedom not to use the freedoms we fought for. <laughs> now, now, shut up. And, shut up and go and play with that chainsaw. And he said, Dad, I'm not finished yet. Was it fair that in 2015 the Greens and UKIP between them scored 16.4% of the votes, but only 0.3% of the MPs, two out of 650? And I replied, I wish I'd never had you. <laughs> and he said, Dad, why, given all that, is our second chamber elected by 0.0% of the population? And I said, well, that's the clever bit, son. That's what makes the rest of it look fair by comparison. <laughs> And he said, Dad, is first past the post not a cancerous force at the heart of our democratic nation that stifles political evolution and foments confrontational short-termism and irresponsible economics? It seems to me, Dad, that it's patently an anachronistic relic unfit for the world that I'm going to grow up in. <laughs> no. And I said, who is writing the Maisie books these days? <laughs> Thank you for listening.